Children of the border of the most vulnerable as mask migration surges under Biden. This is a topic report. Let me repeat that. Children of the border of the most children of the border of are. I should have made. Oh, I see what I was doing here. Children of the border, the most vulnerable as mass migration surges under Biden. This is a topic report, and the topic is border kids. That's what we're talking about, border kids. From thefederalist.com, families' perilous gamble paying smugglers to reunite kids pays off thanks to Biden policies. That's what families have to do. They have to just kind of hope that the smugglers that they're paying to get their kids in through, through the border without being detected and put into these little holding pens, hideous holding pens, that they'll get through safely. Parents of additional, that, well, that, they're, that the, the people that they're relying on to bring their kids to them safely won't sell them into sex slavery or something else. Parents of additional 61 separated children have been located, advocates say, in new court filing. This is from DailyCoast.com. On the left, this is where I'm, uh, I'm somewhat aligned with the left. And well, I think that we we Christians we should be. It's not really as important to. I mean, it's hideous. I know why they're bringing these folks in. I know they're bringing them in to undermine Americanism, or whatever that is. And I know they're bringing them in for votes so that they can have unaccountable governments to we the people, and they can kill. American Bill of Rightsisms. All of that is horrible, and I'm not advocating any of that. But at the same hand, these are human beings that uh, it's not their fault that they're here. And I won't call them illegal aliens. I won't do that. That's subhumanizing, and I won't do it as a Christian. And I won't. I won't want anything but the best for these human beings, uh, no matter what. I want these human beings to live and to be happy. And to not suffer in the way that they are right now. Especially, especially these children. It, it, there's, I mean, well, there's there's places you can, you can Google it. There's places, if you're a Christian, I encourage you to, to, to give to the groups that are actually trying to help the kids. Especially help these kids that are caught up in this mess. And rescue them. And I don't care about their nationality or their ethnicity. I care about their humanity. They're children. They're human beings in God's image, and uh, it. This is one of the areas that really breaks my heart. Really, uh, how we treat the sojourner in America, I believe, is in part one of the reasons why we're being so judged. Abortion is probably the, one of the main reasons. Uh, I think this is this is it's pretty close. How we treat our so sojourners, certainly another reason. Unaccompanied migrant kids crossing U.S. border hits all-time high in March from France 24. From Al Jazeera.com, U.S.-Mexico border sees 71% increase in migrant crossings. Yeah, horrible. I mean, it's horrible because these people are these people are all vulnerable. They're all just chattel for uh, everybody else. They're cheap labor or their political votes, but they're not humans to hardly anybody on the left or the right. They the right calls them illegal aliens, and the left. They're, they're not doing anything to really help these kids, help these adults, and they don't really care. They just they just want the political power that flooding America with 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 non-Americans. And my, when I say non-Americans, these are people that they don't have they don't have the Bill of Rights assumptions in them, and and they want these folks to basically vote Democrat and make them unaccountable. It's all horrible. It's all hideous. But uh, don't worry, God wins. And, and, and you know be patient uh, it, it's, it's very good for you to be patient for the Lord will uh, do what he does in his time and in his way and vengeance is his not ours and we can conquer this right here and right now in the way that we love one another and how we show how we love one another is how we equip one another we're able to take care of one another outside of these systems of these violent oppressive systems of control and we got uh, Charity Helping Migrants, says Alex Jones used stage competition to allege trafficking. That's from, I don't know who that's from, from the left. It says border crossing in March hits highest level in over a decade. That's from HuffPost.com. And Biden's border crisis creates largest illegal alien flux in more than 20 years. That's from the right. And March saw, that's from the Federalist. And March saw the most ever children stopped at U.S.-Mexico border in a single month from NPR. That's how we'll end it. <laughs>